Okay, we're going to start on page 79, a few opening sentences before. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Merciful. Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, we confess that we have sinned sin against, against you, you in thought, in thought word, and deed, and deed by, by what, what we have done, done and by what, what we have, we have left, left undone. undone. We have not, we have not, have not loved, loved you with our whole heart. Our heart. We have, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. It's to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 Lord, open our lips. And our mouth, our mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, to, Glory the to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, now, now and will be, will be forever. forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, Rob, would you lead us in your psalm? Um, the psalm of the day is Psalm 78, found on page 694, part one. We'll say it responsively, breaking at the asterisk. Incline my teaching, O oh my people. Incline your ears, your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known and what our forefathers have told us. We will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord. And the wonderful work he has done. Gave his decrees to Jacob and established a law for Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know, and to children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children, so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments. And not be like their forefathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation. A generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. People of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in battle. They did not keep the covenant of God. And refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done. And the wonders he had shown them. He worked marvels in the sight of their forefathers. In the land of Egypt, in the field of his home. He split open the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand up like walls. He led them with a cloud by day. And all the and night all through the glow of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness. And, and gave them drinks from the great deep. He brought them streams out of the cliff. And, and the, the waters gushed out like, like rivers. rivers. But they went on sinning against him. Rebelling in the desert against, against the They tested God in their hearts. Demanding food for their craving. They railed against God and said, Can God set a table in the wilderness? 
through, he struck the rock, the waters gushed out, and the gullies overflowed. But he When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and his anger mounted against Israel. For they had no faith in God. Nor did, Nor did they put their trust in his saving power. So he commanded the clouds above and, and told the forces of heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat. And gave, gave them rain from, from the heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He provided, he provided for them food enough. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens. And let, and let out, out the south wind by its might. might. He rained down flesh upon them like dust. And wing birds like, like the sand of the, the sea. sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp. And round about their dwellings. dwellings. So they ate and were well, well fell, filled. For he gave them what they craved. They did not stop their craving. So the food is still in their mouths. So God's anger mounted against them. He slew their strongest of them and laid down the youth of Israel. In spite of all this, they went on sinning. And had no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breast. And the years Whenever he slew them, they would seek him. And repent and diligently search for God. They would remember that God was their rock. And the most high God, their redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouths. And lied to him with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast toward him. And they were not faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their sins and did not destroy them. Many times he held back his anger and did not permit his wrath to be aroused. For he remembered that they were but flesh. A breath that goes forth and does not return. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yeah. It was in the beginning, is, is now, is now and, and will be forever. 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 Amen. Amen. Okay, lessons please. Okay. First reading is from Acts chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's portico, utterly astonished. Here ends the reading. 
The second reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 19 through 28. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. Here ends the reading. Ray, do you have a prayer book in front of you? Yes, yes, we need, a, we need a theatrical voice. Okay. Um, you read the song of we, Simeon on page 93. We have, um, if I can butt in for a minute, Ray had provided two pieces of music. Um, Aaron had those links. I may have gotten them up, but if we think we want to do them tomorrow when more people are here, or unless. Um, Let's go on tomorrow. <clears throat> okay. All right. Ray, is that okay? That's right. That's perfect. Okay. So read on page 93, A Song to the Lamb. No, the Song of Simeon, middle one. Okay, got, got it. <clears throat> Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to page 96, let us reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Saying together, I believe in God, <coughs> Father Almighty, Creator of I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died in Mary. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, descended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the body. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us, and us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, 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 us not into temptation, but to the rest from me. May thine be the kingdom, and power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Hold your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. In peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. 
and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Don't you may be known upon earth. You are Might you stay in hell among nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the, the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us the hearts, O God. And sustain us with, with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. God, the eternal one whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies. We surely trust in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. In the mighty Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 The God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin and nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us now offer our <coughs> prayers on our hearts and minds. For the victims of this storm and for those that are on missions of rescue. Are there others? <laughs> for Jocelyn and Pam. For Barbara. For Francis and Uncle John. Carol and Susan. Healthcare worker Julie Harvey. For this community those who could not join us today. Are there any Thanksgivings? Thanks for Wes, who I'm sure is at the church right now battening down if he hadn't been there by last night. I'm thankful for the generator humming out my back door. <laughs> thankful for the neighbor who had Starbucks for my brother-in-law. I'm thankful. He, he lives on coffee. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm thankful there's still a roof on my beach house. My neighbor just texted me. It's a good thing. Thankful for this beautiful morning. Yes, indeed. And it's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything seems to be good at St. James, according to Bill. The power's on and no apparent leaks. So that's, we're thankful. <laughs> Ray, would you read the uh, great Thanksgiving on page 101? Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray 
give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truthy, truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Now, just in case Jay doesn't have power by tomorrow, um, would um, one of you like to lead morning prayer? Think about it, because when we come on tomorrow, um, either text Cheryl um, or me, um, but you can do it, but it might be nice to have one of our own um, lead us in prayer. Morning prayer was originally a choir office, by the way, and it was read by the choir. Um, where they had rehearsals and sometimes on Sunday morning. That's, uh, that's its deep history. So we're a choir. Um, <laughs> we are. And I'll over. find out what Jay had planned for music tomorrow. And if it, hopefully we can plug in Ray's offerings that he had um, for tomorrow. That'd be great. I'll and Don, my husband, was in the background. He said that was a beautiful reading of that Thanksgiving. So thank you, Ray. <laughs> I will say our singers tomorrow are really great. One is a guy named Nigel Robinson. He lives in New York. He's an actor, a musician. You've seen him here at Fallian Hall play the lead in Oklahoma, Kiss Me Kate, and Carousel. Oh, wow. But he's from LaGrange, where I'm from. My sister was his high school teacher and turned him on the theater. And the girl is named Jurene Rayford, and she lives in Greenville, but she's from Fayetteville. And she was first runner at Miss North Carolina last year. So she sings opera, but tomorrow she's singing a really, really good contemporary song called Rise Up, which is very inspirational. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Hey, Ray, could you just those over to us? And we could probably use them for Sunday morning um, to yeah. fill in for. Um... Oh, sure. Cheryl's got them, and, and they gave me permission to use it whenever you. you Guys feel comfortable. They both are Christians and very involved in their respective churches. Great. Well, Cheryl, if you'll create that library for us, maybe give it to um, John. But um, if we're without Aaron tomorrow, um, are you able to play the music, Cheryl, or not? Yes, I am. Okay. I will probably go over to the church to do it to get a stronger internet. Okay. I was worried about playing it from my house. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, music does drag from my house when I put it on. So the church has a good internet. All right, we're signing off. Goodbye, New York. Um, yeah, stay safe, guys. You, I guess you. Yeah. You too. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day, all. Everybody, everybody have a good one. You too. Yeah, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, bye Bill.